So I recently shared an experiment on LinkedIn where I ran a new part kind of fire setup and ran that through Comfy UI in order to improve the look. And I was kind of pretty impressed with the results. It looks pretty good. Now, today I've taken that a step further and I'm going to be sharing with you the Nuke script so that you can actually play around with this yourself. So you can download that um, Nuke script on my website, which is compostingpro.com. And I'm going to click here and you can download it and you can play around with that. So what I've done in order to take it a little step further is I took the output of Comfy UI and actually used it to kind of train a copycat node in Nuke. So we've got the input here. These are the Nuke particles that went into Comfy UI. And this is the output once it kind of came out the other side of the Comfy UI node, node, uh, node graph. And then what we did is that then gave me an inference node. So now what I'm able to do is I can literally have this live in Nuke. And the cool thing about that is if I go up here to the Roto and play around, because it's going through that inference node, you can see the fire actually updates live now. We don't have to go through Comfy UI anymore. What we can do is it's been trained on it, so we can play around with that and we can make our fire smaller or bigger or whatever we want to do. And you'll actually see it all updates, as you can see, and then you could play it through. So what I'm sharing with you today is this side, which is the cat file, which has already been trained ready for you to go. I'm sharing Ray Sun's awesome tutorial here, which is his fire setup that I used just to kind of quickly get something out. And I've put a link to that here. Ray Sun's kindly signed off that I can share this on my website. So uh, thank you, Ray, for that. And yeah, so what you'll need to do when you open this up is just reconnect the cat file here that you download, just input it here, and then you'll be able to play around with this in your own time. Now, again, I'm not an expert in this, by the way. I've just been watching a bunch of tutorials and kind of like messing around a little bit. So for those of you that know a little bit more than me, please reach out if I can improve this in any way. And also I think this has got a ton of potential. So it's more about kind of sharing the idea um, because all of us in the VFX industry are kind of working out how to how we can use this AI stuff, right? To make our lives easier. And I do feel like this is one of those ways. So you can download this on my website so you can play around with this yourself. And yeah, again, I'd love to see what you do. So if you do anything cool with it or use in our production, please reach out to me or share it. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what you get up to.